Welcome to Lux Today, I'm Courtney Ferguson. In today's news, the inventor of the blue LED has started a new company, making a rival technology. The biggest order in LED history is signed for 1.6 million light bulbs. And I interview the new CEO of Harvard Engineering, Paul Hussey. All that's coming up, so stick around. Hello and welcome to Lux Today for March 1st. I'm Courtney Ferguson. The Nobel Prize winning inventor of the blue LED has announced that laser diodes are the future of lighting and have compelling advantages over LEDs. Today in California, Dr. Shuji Nakamura unveiled a new company to commercialize the new technology. Launched at the Strategies and Light Conference in Santa Clara, the firm is called Sora Laser. Its creation is sure to focus the attention of the lighting industry on the potential of the light sources. At its debut, the company revealed its advanced technology, which it says has unique performance properties and compelling advantages over LED. Dr. Nakamura told Lux today, laser diodes are lighting's future. However, LEDs are still a long way from being toppled off their position as the leading lighting tech. In fact, the biggest single LED order in history has just been signed. Chase Bank will buy 1.6 million lamps to install across its 5,000 branches across America. The order, won by Current, GE's new energy efficient technology division, will cover an area nearly 40 times the size of the Louvre. It's estimated that the retrofit will lower the branch's lighting related energy use by half. The project is a big win for new company Current, which GE launched last October. The move to integrate LED lighting with other low energy technologies raised eyebrows in the industry, but this big order will provide a major confidence boost in the business model. Still on business in our featured interview this week, I caught up with the new CEO of Harvard Engineering, Paul Hussey. It's his job to drive expansion for the controls company across the world. I started by asking him about his route to his new position at the company. So as you know, Harvard uh, is private equity backed. Uh, I've spent the last six years in, uh, in Asia running a, a British uh, a private equity backed uh, electronics company. The business had migrated to Asia and uh, we really drove the international growth f from Hong Kong. So the investors were looking for a, uh, a new phase of management and asked me to join. I uh, couldn't pass up the chance given the uh, dynamic and exciting nature of this technology. Absolutely, it is very, very exciting. Uh, what are your thoughts on the lighting industry just four months into your new role? Yes, I mean, it's, um, it's a fascinating industry because it is really at the frontier of, uh, of development, of technological development. Um, we are now starting to see the convergence of the, uh, the digitization of light. Uh, and now we instead, uh, it is ubiquitous, we all need light, and yet uh, digitization allows us to do batch of one. In other words, we can uh, begin to um, uh, manipulate, uh, control light uh, point by point, allows efficiency. Uh, perhaps the other story that is uh, not often mentioned enough is that with LED and con uh, wireless controls, it allows us to now uh, realize that the environmental uh, impact is, does not have to be subsidized. Uh, most um, uh, initiatives tend to be financially uh, difficult to justify. Uh, LED on the one hand and wireless controls on the other offer immediate savings as well as the benefit from the green story. It's almost a perfect combination. Thanks, Paul. Can you share your high-level vision for Harvard's continued growth? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the growth really will be driven by the focus on uh, wireless controls, uh, which is our iNut and LeafNut solutions, and our international expansion, uh, primarily uh, focusing currently on the US and uh, Europe. And we look forward to an expansion to the Middle East and Asia in the coming uh, 24 months. I'm sure that will be no problem. Congratulations on your new position. And there you have it. I'm Courtney Ferguson with Lux Today. That's all from us at Lux Today. Remember, you can get all the latest lighting news globally, 24 hours a day, at luxreview.com. We'll see you back here at the same time next week.